Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we will try to configure VLAN in our laptop. So here we go. We have an Ethernet adapter over here. We'll first go to properties and we'll press configure. And we have advanced over here, the advanced tab, and we'll go down in the scroll bar and we'll search for the VLAN. Here is a priority and VLAN and now we will select this one and we will enable priority and vlan enabled okay okay now the vlan is enabled but the problem is we cannot enter a vlan over here because most of the time you need to check what the vendor is and here we go we'll select the ethernet okay here you can see it is a real tech gigabit ethernet so in the real tech you need to download a diagnostic tool so we will go to the internet This is a real tech diagnostic utility. We'll try to download one of them and we'll see how it works this is a 9.8 MB and here is a download for Windows XP 7 and Windows 10 okay so we have a Windows 10 over here so we'll try to download for Windows 10 and here we have save a file okay here we go I have downloaded the rare file we'll extract it over here this is the diagnostic utility I have opened it uh, let's see where is the setup file okay I have run the setup okay we'll apply it I am installing the software right now Okay, it is already installed now and we will see where we can configure the VLAN. Okay, we have a virtual adopter and okay so we have a real tech family controller and we have a VLAN option over here and add a VLAN we can put it in the virtual okay 
here we will configure the VLAN VLAN tag VLAN ID 2250 and ok then we'll go back and we'll also configure the IP4 IPv4 10 10 10 dot 2 ok my Argus is dot 2 and the gateway should be 1 and net mask is 252 ok we'll go back and we'll start this one from here and our Argus is ready and we Okay, so I am going to add a VLAN VLAN and I will add a VLAN 2250 Okay, yes and I have added the VLAN now after the software you will get a new adopter over here which is a virtual you can see Realtek virtual adopter this is the physical one which is already in your device and this is the virtual one so now you have to configure the virtual one with the IP addresses and I'm going to configure it on TCP IP and here we'll configure the IP 10.10.10.1 the subnet mask 255.255.252 and 10.10.10.2 2 is my Argus ok press ok now it should work let's see yeah it's working now it from my Argus it is reachable right here it has a stopped or something we'll stop it and we'll start it start it again space dash t yes it is reachable now and at the same time in my Argus it is also pinging so once again we'll clarify it and hold on I will show you the VLANs okay we'll cancel this uh, ping and I will stop it right now in my Argus the data is a stop and I think yes the IPs are not pingable now over here because I have stopped it and we'll go to the VLAN so here is the VLAN already tagged in the Argus okay we'll start it again so once it is started from my Argus now you can see the ping is back again so we'll go back again just to see what was the required things we need so this is the software and I have configured the VLAN over here in the software and once the software is installed you will find the Realtek virtual adopter so you have to configure the IPs on the virtual adopter so you cannot configure you cannot enable both the IPv4s on the physical one and the virtual one you have to use once uh, one at a time because right now you can see in the actual ethernet adopter the version 4 is not enabled you can see it is not enabled if i will enable that it will not work so you need to use once uh, one at a time so right now the virtual one is working and you can see if i go to the properties and TCP IP I have configured the IPs also here you can see and if I go back to the configuration 
I'll go to the advanced and here also VLAN ID you can configure the VLAN ID over here will add the VLAN again and you can see the Ethernet virtual adapter is visible now once you add the VLAN in this software it will show you the Ethernet virtual adapter then you can configure the IP addresses on this adapter and you will be able to ping it In other brands other than the Realtek, other vendors, some of them they have a VLAN configuration built in in the adopter configuration settings. But you have to enable them in the properties of the main adopter and you will go to the advanced and you will select priority and VLAN and you can select over here enable priority and VLAN this is how you will enable it and after that once you configured the device the new Realtek diagnostic utility then you will configure a VLAN and you can see the Ethernet adapter is ready you will go to the properties and you will go to the IPv4 and you will configure the IPs configure the IPs again okay the ping is started again now I can ping it on the Argus also I will start the ping again here you go there is a ping right now you can ping it from the Argus also you can see and on the laptop also you can see there is a ping so in some cases where the technician needs to configure VLAN in his laptop then this is the way you can configure it if you have a Realtek uh, adapter which is uh, most widely used in most of the laptops so this is the simple solution you can use the VLAN hope it works with you it helps you thank you very much